creating a YouTube channel in 2020 could be very difficult. There's millions of the YouTubers out there that have great content. And, like, how could you stand out from them? My thing is, like, I, I didn't want to make my video about, like, one thing. Like, only vlogs, only pranks, stuff like that. I didn't want to make my channel like that. I wanted to have it, like, where I could just make videos about anything. Like, football videos, basketball videos, vlogs, like, documentary type videos. Because I like those kind of videos. I like YouTubers that do it like that. But I don't want my channel to be like only just, it's yeah, just one dimensional. I just wanted to have more of a variety, you know? I would hate to people that do it like that. Like, I, I still watch their videos, of course, but I don't know. That just really wasn't my style. But in my opinion, this time right now is the best time possible to create a YouTube channel. If you guys are trying to create a YouTube channel, you should start now. I wish I would have started like way, way later, but like at least now, like, we're in quarantine, so like, People are only watching TV, only watching videos, like videos on YouTube and stuff. So this is your best time to get the most viewers, in my opinion. Probably like a year ago, I started the channel and I had my brother like design the background and stuff and like in my wallpaper. I don't even know if the, I think the account's still somewhere out there because I never deleted it. So it, the name was like C-A-V-Y, but when I looked it up, I never found it, but I made one video about like, oh, like a work vlog, like trying to get like a job interview. And then I, I edited the entire video, but then I forgot to do the ending, like the outro. And I knew I could have did it later, but like I was just, I don't know. I just never got to it and it kind of made me mad. Like, like looking back, cause I could have been start making videos a long time ago. I ended up never doing it, cause like, I think I got the job or something like this, so that's why I didn't, I ended up not finishing. In my opinion, I say it's never too late. And my dad always told me, expect the worst. Ex yeah, my dad always told me, expect, ex <laughs> my dad always told me, expect the worst, but hope for the best. So if something, if something bad does happen, you won't be that mad, cause you was expecting the worst. It's pretty smart. Also, another thing, like, I know, like, editing is important. I don't want to do, like, too much editing, because then, it, like, I don't know, you're trying to make your videos seem perfect. But in my opinion, the imperfections is what makes your videos, like, original. That's also another thing, to, to try to be original. That's showing how, you're, how you truly are. You want to show people your true personality. You don't want, like, to fake, like, how you are. I mean, that's, that's not faking, but... Sometimes embrace your imperfections. Nobody's perfect. One thing you don't really realize about creating a channel until you actually like start recording your first video is like how nervous you are at first. Like when I first like when I just first press record, I just started sweating immediately. So just be prepared for that if you ever try to create your channel. So it's gonna be kind of a little a little weird at first. But then I think just the more and more, more and more you do it. The more videos you make, the more comfortable you get. But just know that it's never too late. And that doesn't go just for YouTube. Just in life, in life period. Don't ever let anybody tell you what you can't do. Then, if you really believe that, you really won't be able to do it. Also, I tried to do this video, like, without looking looking at other people's ideas. What should I make my video about? You need an idea. What are you doing? I got it! What Just know it's never too late to create your channel. You have all the time in the world.